Well done. You've unlocked coal generators, which means you can now dispose of this sack of bullshit. Coal generators need two things, coal and water. A single generator needs 15 coal per minute and 45 cubic meters of water per minute. Except not really. And I need you to pay attention here. Every power source has a fine print which says resource consumption will automatically be lowered to meet power demand. So in other words, these numbers are only true if your power demands are equal to the capacity of the plant. So generator requirements aren't equal to 15 coal and 45 meter cubes of water. It's at most 15 coal and 45 meter cubes of water per minute. Of course, it's always safe to follow the number exactly because eventually you will get close to the 100% usage. In that case, the numbers will become relevant. Before you start building your power plant, you need to consider the location and availability of resources, both of which correlate to each other. A good location is the desert where there's an abundance of water <laughs> and coal. Water in Satisfactory is something you've probably not used before if you're new to the game. Liquid in Satisfactory works pretty much how they work in real life. They like to flow down to lower levels. They will not move up to higher levels unless given some form of energy. Notice that the water flows when the orifice is below the water level. And when it's brought above the water level, it stops. A water extractor alone gives a head lift of 10 meters. Since the pipe height is 12 meters here, it doesn't go into the buffer on the other side. To give the extra energy required to move the liquid higher up, you need to install a pump. A pump will move the liquid 20 meters up from the geometrical center of the pump. A pump will only work if you have it full of liquid at all times. So in this case, if you put the pump on the other side, it's not going to do anything. Fun fact, this is actually true for real life water pumps too. The impeller of the water pump, which is kind of like a submerged fan, creates a vacuum in the center of the pump, which creates a suction force behind and a pushing force in front. If the pump was full of air instead of water, the air would basically just expand, reducing the power of the vacuum. So the pump wouldn't work in real life. So that's why you have to ensure that there's water in the impellers at all time, which is a process called priming. And just like that, you've just learned something that has a real life application from a video game. Take that, parents who think that video games are useless. Coming back to Satisfactory, basically, if you want your pump system to work, make sure that each pump is within 20 meters of each other and you'll be fine. Also, the head lift resets every time you add a new pump, so don't think keeping two pumps close to each other is going to make it pump 40 meters, because it's not. Also, pipes can only handle 300 meter cubes per minute, so if you place four water extractors like this, 120 times 4, which is equal to 480 meter cubes of water, is not going to fit in here. So it's just going to back up over there towards the first water extractor and not help anyone at all. Instead, you'd want to connect that side to somewhere around the 6th or 5th generator over there. So that, may, that way the water can reach the last ones much more easier. A better design would be like this, where the extractor is connected in line with the central generator and splits both ways to the other two. You can extend this like so, but remember to take the flow rate into account. Here there are 10 coal generators, so that's a total of 450 meter cubes of water required. I have 4 water extractors with the second one underclocked to 75% to reach the requirement. Oh, and before I forget, there's one more thing that you guys need to do to make sure that your factory works perfectly, and that is to FUCKING HIT THE SUBSCRIBE BUTTON! And that's all guys, if you want some good looking designs, you can check out Total Eclipse's video. I've kept it in the description, there are some cool designs there, so go check them out. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.